has to be one of the most frequently asked questions I get in any of my winter uh, trip videos or when it's cold out is what kind of gloves that I'm using. The ones that I typically wear, especially around doing any sort of camp chores where I need that fine dexterity for doing things, are the Cirrus All Weather Glove Hyperlite is the addition of it. And it's an extremely thin waterproof glove. They basically advertise it as an ultra thin glove or just a waterproof liner. Um, you know, it helps wick away moisture. It is wind and water proof. Um, the fabric itself, it is not seam sealed, so anywhere where it is sewn together, um, it is technically not waterproof. So after hours and hours of handling wet snow, uh, you know, your hands will be wet, but no issues with your fingers being cold. The material is flexible enough that it maintains um, the warmth. The problem with some of these liner gloves is in order to maintain that dexterity, they are so restrictive that your hands can actually get colder because it's cutting off the blood circulation. Kind of like wearing tight socks. Your feet can get cold in your boots, and it really has nothing to do with the boots. It's just your socks are too tight. Now, as you're seeing right here, these are about two years worth of wear. And I admit I could probably get more wear out of them if I hadn't have treating them as sort of a work glove slash camp glove half the time. They're so comfortable to have on and so useful and that dexterity is so fine that even like I have a video that I haven't posted yet. Uh, we were building some buck saws. has the dexterity that you can actually work with you know nuts and bolts and screws and things like that so I admit I have used these probably during some firecraft I probably shouldn't have um, picking up hot pans you know this is a vinyl material so it does have the ability to melt um, I actually use them uh, quite a bit during the morning helping out uh, changing irrigation uh, when the pipes are basically frozen it's kind of like the, the old adage you see in the movies with the kid puts his tongue on the metal pole um, well if your hands get wet from any of the snow around and you're handling this basically completely frozen uh, irrigation pipe you're going to want gloves on and uh, although I didn't get any scars really for that um, you know the liner in here I think it was mostly from firecraft and over two years they've just sort of worn through and basically seen more than their usefulness so I went to replace them with basically the same all-weather glove but the original as soon as I get these off here I will show you them and they are a little bit more neoprene type material they are thicker and they are softer on the inside I will say they've got more of the um, Polar Tech lining, which really helps with the wicking when you're doing a lot of stuff. But, as I get these on here, because of the thicker material, all the, these are just as waterproof, just as windproof, keep your hands nice and warm, you start losing that dexterity. Now these are about where most of my winter gloves were previously. Um, they are a little bit more comfortable, they are warmer, you know they're a little bit more waterproof etc they still will work as a good liner glove in anything uh, there's a little bit more reinforcement in the palm and finger areas for your high wear as you can see none of the actual reinforcement on the hyper lights got worn it was just all the spots where there weren't any so there's a little bit instead of just on the pad it comes all the way down into the palm as the reinforced area so essentially the same stuff weather shield tri laminate it's just the hyper light is quite a bit thinner and unfortunately they didn't have any of the hyper light that um, I think the only hyper light they had locally here was they have a new touch version where the pads are able to activate like a touch pad well I thought maybe my tablet was charged it's not I was going to demonstrate um, the, the Hyperlite I could find locally here uh, is a new touchpad one that all the finger tabs uh, work with your touch screens. And I will say that the Hyperlites worked with my cell phone. Um, I never had a problem accessing the cell phone with these gloves on, even though they're not the touch version. Um, I may probably go back and buy the touch version uh, simply because I much prefer the thinner Hyperlite. These are good gloves but they're to the point where you start losing that dexterity um, and they're not as good as the you know huge overglove mittens that I have 
Um, so basically you want something thin, waterproof that you can wear, that you can use by putting up camp and things like that and doing chores around camp without wearing your really heavy gloves. And this sort of is kind of in the middle where it's almost approaching that, that too thick of a glove to really do much other than, I mean, you can definitely wear these and ski with these and everything else. Um, but it just doesn't fill that niche that the Hyperlite versions did. So I recommend the Hyperlites. Uh, you do, will have to be careful uh, if you want to get anything over two years out of them um, as far as, you know, wood, fire, firecraft, cutting, chopping wood and things like that, handling hot items that's going to melt the glove, all the common sense things that most of you guys probably already realize. Um, however, just because they were that comfortable, I sacrificed them and didn't change out the gloves like I should have. Um, and this is the result. So I will probably be taking these back and picking up the Hyperlite versions. If I can only find the touch, then I'll probably be getting those. But I recommend you looking into the Cirrus um, all-weather versions. There's a couple ones. They do have one that is fireproof. Um, I have a feeling it's uh, it'll still melt, but it probably won't catch fire like a lot of the new fireproof, um, you know, mod acrylic things are. Um, and I probably won't get those or recommend those because I have a feeling that they will still melt. They're not fireproof. They just won't catch fire and melt on your hand is basically all they will do. So uh, there are other versions out there, but I recommend if you can get the all-weather hyperlights, whether it be the touch version or not, they're definitely a must 